to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do a one brand makeup tutorial. And this was the result, which I was pretty shook about. Some of the products that I use left me speechless. So I was very excited to film this video. Some of the products um, I did buy with my own money and some of the products Maybelline did send to me. All the opinions and things I say about the products are truly and honestly my opinions. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I picked up at the drugstore was this primer and it is the Blur and Illuminating Primer. So I just hope it doesn't like stick to any dry patches I may have on my face. Mmm, it smells like lotion. I kind of like it. Is that weird? Oh crap. Oh my god, that was too much. Oh no, what's that? Oh crap. Ooh, I can already tell that it's illuminating my face. Oh my god, wow. Can you guys see that? It literally made my skin glowy already. Mmm. And it's already getting crappy. Ooh. Okay, so I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna let this sit on my face and I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows in the meantime. And the brow product that I will be using today is this pencil right here. I don't know why, but I've just been loving pencils for eyebrows. This is the Brow Precise. Precise. <laughs> the Brow Precise um, Micro Crayon in the shade. Wow, this doesn't have a, a, a shade number. So I'm just gonna be using that to lightly fill them in. It does have um, like a waxy feel to it, which I like because that means the product will stay on longer. My eyebrows are cousins, okay? We've established that already. They never want to be sisters. They can never get along. I just, I have two completely different eyebrow shapes. You know, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. So moving on to foundation, I was gonna play it safe and use the Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Foundation. I started using this when I first started um, my makeup tutorials, but I want to step out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna try something new, which is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. I remember my mom used to be obsessed with this. I don't know why, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try, see if I like it. I'm gonna see, oh, this is so weird. Oh, it's like a sponge. That's so weird. And just picks up the product. Let me do these little hairs to the back. Oh. Hmm. Oh, hello there, coverage. Wow, this is actually really good. Okay, I'm not gonna judge it too soon, so. I'm gonna apply this all over the face and then see how I like it. I really, 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 really like how the foundation looks on my face. I honestly don't know if it was the Beauty Blender or this, but um, both work great. So if you plan on buying this, definitely go in with the little pad at first and then go in with the Beauty Blender. To correct conceal that little pimple, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Camel Color Correcting Kit. I already have a video on how to color correct. I will link it down below, but I'm just going to grab the green shade. Green cancels out red, so if you think about like the color wheel, the colors that are opposite from each other cancel each other out. So, going to grab a little brush that comes with it. Well, actually, okay, I'm just going to just need a little tiny bit. Okay, right there. I'm going to buff it out. And there we go. Now the pimple disappeared. I'm going to dip it back into the foundation and buff it all out okay so moving on to concealer I'm using um, this one which is in the shade light beige it's like the same color of the foundation instead of using this one because it was um, too dark I'm using the instant age rewind Everybody raves about this one because it's honestly great. So if you're looking for a drugstore foundation, I mean foundation. If you're looking for a drugstore concealer, then I recommend this one. Always do upside down triangles. Okay, 
For translucent powder, I'm using the Master Fix Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. This one does the job and it's not expensive at all. It's so thin, you guys. It reminds me of like powdered sugar. It's so thin and soft. It feels like silk, literally. I don't know. I don't know. It's really weird, but it feels great on the skin. It feels so soft. I wish you guys could feel that. You guys know that I love to set my face with translucent powder, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to try out the Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. I'm not really a fan of um, setting powders, but I'm going to go ahead and give this one a try. Oh, wow. What the heck? It actually has a lot of coverage, which I did not expect. So I'm just now realizing that I don't have a bronzer specifically from Maybelline. So since this is like a one brand drugstore tutorial, I'm quickly going to do it off camera. But um, for the rest of my face, I do have other products. So that's the only thing plus lashes that are not going to be like Maybelline products. Before I do my bronzer, I want to zoom you guys up so you guys can see how good my skin looks with these products. That way you guys don't think I'm lying. It just looks so smooth and flawless. I'm actually pretty shook, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I already bronzed my face, now I'm gonna use the Master Blush Color and Highlighting Palette. I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is, what well, actually doesn't have a name. Just pounce it on my cheeks. I always recommend smiling when you're um, applying blush because that way you know where the apples of your cheeks are at. Ooh, these are really pigmented by the way, so be careful with how much product you pick up because a little goes a long way. Okay, now we're gonna move on to highlight and the highlight I will be using is this one that comes in the palette. So I'm gonna pick up this little brush first and, ooh, I picked up a lot. I'm gonna use that to highlight the tip of my nose. Looks so pretty. This highlighter does have um, pink undertone, so it's not like your regular gold um, white highlighters, which is a really cool thing that I like about this. Wow, rude. I'm adding the highlight to where I would usually... Oh, the little hair. Y'all see it? It's not in his lane. Go back in your lane. There we go. Oh, there's a little hair over here too. Gotta keep them on check, girls, because... So I'm just gonna apply this on the... Apples of my cheek and then on this side. This highlight isn't super like boom in your face, but it's still a really good highlight. So, you know, for those days that you don't want to be like super extra glowy, then this is a good one for you. I feel like the more you layer it, the more brighter it is. So, <laughs> this is the second coat of highlight and it looks pretty nice on my skin so obviously Maybelline hasn't came out with lashes yet hopefully one day but for now I'm just gonna pop on my favorite pair of lashes that way we can move on to the lips so now I'm gonna coat my bottom lashes with my favorite mascara at the moment which is the colossal big shot mascara which was where Manny and Mue had the campaign with them which is really really cool Y'all better not be laughing at my faces because y'all know that this face helps <laughs> not poking your eye out or making your eyes water. I am super excited to announce that I am the very first influencer to have my hands on these new babies right here. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Locker Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to show you guys the shades individually, but I quickly want to point out my two favorite ones. Yeah. So this one is in the shade Charmer and then the other one is in the shade Unreal. So I'm going to swatch them. They look kind of the same, but I'm going to swatch them so you guys can see the difference. So the consistency of these is um, very creamy. So it applies very smoothly, but um, it looks like a matte liquid lipstick, but then it has a sheen to it. So it kind of looks like a gloss, which is really, really cool. So you guys can see Umbreal is on the bottom and Charmer is at the top. So this one has more darker brown undertones. This one has more pink undertones. 
The next three shades are more bright and colorful. This purple one is in the shade Royal, Sassy, and Obsessed. So this is perfect for when you just do a beat face and you want a pop of color. Putting one of these on would make the look look super cute. So the next two shades I'm actually super super excited about because these scream fall for me and for the fall time I hate using liquid lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks to be specific because it does dry my lips. But these would be perfect for the fall time since the weather does get cold, my lips do get crusty. But um, since these are like a glossy and not matte, I know they will keep my lips super hydrated. So those are the two colors over here. So overall, I love the shade range. I think it's great because you have your dark colors perfect for fall then you have the pop of colors over here perfect for summer and then you have your muted mauve pinky shades that are perfect for an everyday wear okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply it well i actually really like the wand just because it's not um, too thick, so it's great for outlining the lips. So I feel like you don't even need a lip liner with this. And last but not least, to set my entire face, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master um, Wear Boosting Setting Spray. It says it locks in makeup, it's long lasting, and it's oil free, which is good. Okay. It says it's lightweight, tram it says it's lightweight translucent mist, extends wear and keeps it's just applied makeup fresh, helps prevent makeup from melting and color fading. That's good. And I am not gonna lie, I was um, looking at my face right now while I was applying the lipstick, and I do see that my makeup started creasing right here. And it's probably because I didn't set it with translucent powder right there as much as I should have because usually where I crease from is where I set it with translucent powder, but I just went over with that face powder. So if you are gonna um, use the face powder, wherever you crease, I recommend you go in with the translucent powder first and then go in with this one just to make sure you don't crease. Ooh. Look, I just got baptized. So that is it for today's tutorial, but as always, I can't let you guys go until I announce the giveaway. So for today's giveaway, Maybelline was kind enough to send me five sets of all of their new lippies. So five of you will get the chance to win the whole collection. So the way to enter is all you have to do is subscribe to their YouTube channel, which I will have linked down below, and comment which one was your favorite shade. So that's all you have to do, and there will be five lucky winners. I will pick the winners this Saturday, and you can check the comment section. It'll be the pinned tweet. That's where the winners will be announced, and also on my social media. So yeah, that is it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you very much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!